Chris Ferguson and pilot uh, Doug Hurley in the process now of um, working through the procedures for the uh, flight control system checkout, which is standard uh, for a landing minus one day diagnostics test of all of the systems on board the orbiter, ensuring that everything is in shape uh, for Atlantis's homecoming to the Kennedy Space Center. Again, uh, for this, uh, we'll use auxiliary power unit number one. It uh, will be fired up uh, to ensure uh, that we have a, a good hydraulic system uh, to drive uh, the ailerons, the elevons, uh, the speed brake, all of the aero surfaces of Atlantis. Houston, if we miss the APU that we're using, uh, we're sorry, but we'll take it now. No, you didn't miss it, Atlantis. It's APU-1. Uh, thanks for asking. We've now uh, maneuvered to the proper orientation uh, for the uh, flight control system checkout, and Chris Ferguson now will be activating auxiliary power unit number one in support of uh, driving all of the aero surfaces. These aero surfaces are, uh, of course, critical to maintain the controllability of the shuttle. As uh, Atlantis uh, reaches uh, the uh, first traces of the Earth's atmosphere during entry, which is called entry interface at an altitude of about 400,000 feet uh, tomorrow, the uh, orbiter will be about 5,000 miles from its landing site. Uh, the computers honed in on the runway at the Kennedy Space Center. At this point in time of the entry, the aft reaction control system steering jets are controlling the shuttle's aerodynamic functions because there's not enough air pressure in the upper regime of the atmosphere for the elevons, the rudder, the speed brake, and the body flap to become active. As the shuttle descends through the atmosphere, the air pressure begins to build up and at a pressure of about 10 pounds per square inch around the vehicle, the roll jets first, followed then by the pitch jets, will be shut off. The speed brake, speed brake begins to function at a speed below Mach 10, 10 times the speed of sound, and the rudder comes into play. So for all of those uh, critical aerosurface functions during uh, the regime of the atmosphere when Atlantis uh, is uh, speeding toward the landing site as a powerless glider. Uh, this uh, test of the reaction control system surfaces and the flight control system surfaces of uh, Atlantis at this hour becomes very important on the day before landing uh, to ensure for the entry flight control team that uh, we have all of the, the critical systems of Atlantis checked out in preparation for landing. Data received back here, the, the mechanical systems officer reporting that auxiliary power unit number one is up and running in support of this FCS checkout. And you can see the aero surfaces now driving.